So I've got this random stuff. Uh, I used this in a phantom powered microphone, the phantom video. Ignore the fan noise, it's hot today. Uh, not a bad shell. And I've got these parts. I've got a little tiny board from Azramo mic. And I've got a capsule. So, uh, might as well make a mini mic, a mini condenser. And to do that, I'm going to take the little capsule, run down the top of the CT1 body. I mean, it's going to be the easiest thing I've ever done, honestly. What's great is, this capsule... could not really fit in the top of this thing any better. And I can probably go all the way down. Perfectly flush. So I will just need some kind of slide over, like sure style windscreen to go over it. I've got wires on the bottom. <clears throat> so that's gonna be as easy as connecting that, inserting, securing, and, uh, and we've got a mini mic. Make a mic out of whatever you got. I mean, this is probably the easiest mic build of all time, honestly. One wire. Hardest part is getting it close. That was way too easy. Now, connected. Those wires are a bit stiff, so that part will suck, but hopefully that's on there strong enough. I did not account for the stiffness of the wires. I'm really afraid that's going to pop off. Let's see. Man, it's a long way to go, too. <clears throat> hmm. May have to rethink this a little bit. Because those are very stiff. That's what she said. Let's see. Alright, let's do this in reverse now that that's connected. Go ahead and put that in there. Okay, so now the board's in there, but now we've got, I mean, I'm just going to have to shorten, I'm just going to have to shorten this, there's no other way around it, cut out most of the wiring there. <sighs> that part sucks. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, is I kind of coiled the wires down in there, that way when I put this on a capsule, we should be in business. All right, so now
one. Got a little, it got a little more difficult, didn't it? Got the shaky hands. Okay, we're in there. So now, it's probably gonna sound like crap, but that's okay. Nice and flush. Technically, we got a microphone. And of course, now for the test. Manny Mike. Many, 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 Mike. Look down on me, Lord. I don't cry no more. Don't look to the sky no more. Many, 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 Mike. Many, 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 Mike. Yeah, so this is the mini Mike. Uh, it's fun just to make something that works. Uh, I'll do a few tests and I'll let you guys get back to your day. So, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. And when you get right on top of the mini mic, this is what it sounds like when you're right on top of the mini mic. 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 90 again, back around to the front of the mini mic. I wouldn't suggest handling it uh, because I'm sure handling noise is bad. But uh, I got a little windscreen on here. Looks like a little tiny thing pointing at my mouth. And uh, it works. You know what? What more can you expect? If you're cool with all this randomness, um, every, anytime I make something or get a wild hair, um, I'm gonna, I'll film it. I'll film what I'm making. I might as well. No big deal. Just another video. I'm not the consummate professional. So if you enjoy, uh, these builds, just let me know. I appreciate it. But, uh, 50 cent in as many, Mike, I'm more like 89 cent, even though 50 thicker these days, I'm like 89 cent. If you enjoy these, let me know. Uh, Clark Technic CT1 Mini Mike. Mini, 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 mini Mike. We're out of here. Obscure mics. Peace out.